Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2. Last time, we ended up doing some side quests before we tackle the Crucible, and in this episode, we are going to be tackling the Crucible. But why am I in Bowerstone Market? Well, there was one last thing I forgot to do before we go to tackle the Crucible. And that was to go to the Gargoyles Trove to get our first treasure for destroying 10 Gargoyles. So, Gargoyles Trove is right here in the Bowerstone Market, so let's go. Welcome to the Gargoyles Trove, ladies and gentlemen. This place is pretty much where you will end up getting the rewards for destroying the Gargoyles. So, the first gate has opened up right now, so now we need to destroy at least 20 Gargoyles. Whenever you end up destroying 10, come back here and you will get yourself a treasure. Uh, the treasures vary depending on what they are. I believe we're going to get for our first one a book for our dog. Oh, that might be the second one. Nope, dog tricks the growl. I was right, it is this one. And come back here and step on this switch. That will reveal platforms that will eventually lead us to the big treasure across the way. So that's pretty much what we have to do for the Gargoyle side quest. And honestly, the treasures that you get for it, for every 10, aren't that good when compared to... The treasures you get for the final getting all 50 gargoyles. That's the treasure you want. But other than that, it's kind of uh, lackluster in all honesty. So, let us find that skill book. Ah, here it is. So, your dog can now growl on command. To see him do this, perform a scary expression. So, that puts us one step closer to opening up a demon door, and I decided to drink some wine that I ended up winning from the, um, thing at the shooting range. So, as you can see, you can stand on this just fine, but you need to hit all five of the switches in order to get to the big treasure that's at the end of the hallway right there. So, now that we're done with that, we are done with everything that we need to do before we tackle the crucible. So... I'll meet you all at Westcliff, so cutting ahead real quick. So, here we are back at Westcliff. Time to go and tackle the Crucible. Make sure you've stocked up on You're potions. One scarred here, one scarred here. Yeah, I probably will. Where are you going? The Crucible's the big massive thing up there. Don't worry about the hound. I'll look after him. Thank you, Hammer. I was busy doing side quests, and there's going to be more side quests after we finish the Crucible, so yeah. So, let's go inside. Alright, here we are. The Crucible. No, no, no! Gorgor wants his mummy. Right, who's next then? Oh, well, love to, wouldn't I? Yeah, but still got this whole ethical entanglement to mull over. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I would certainly embrace this opportunity, but, uh, um, um, I'm still waiting for my lucky robes to come back from the cleaners. Well, I can't possibly go on next. My, um, crossbow's got an awful cold. Do not look at Gorgoron. Gorgoron has an ingrowing toenail right now. A an evil toenail. You, the new guy. It's your lucky day. Get your ass in there. All right. You might want to read up on the rules. Well, that most contenders can read. Well, I can barely read, so let us get the Crucible Rules. So, all contenders are invited to read the following rules. If you cannot read, please ask another challenger to read them for you. If they cannot read, please refrain from asking the entrance keeper to read them, as he cannot read either. Number one. 
The Crucible is an arena of violence, death, and family entertainment consisting of eight rounds. Two. Each round will begin when you walk into the starting position that is made up of increasingly difficult waves of creatures. Three. Score a perfect round by beating the target time. You will earn extra rewards for doing so. Achieve five perfect rounds and you will walk away with the highest gold reward. Ooh, that's pretty nice. You are here to entertain. Never forget that. Make sure that you keep the crowd's excitement levels up and it is likely to reward you for your efforts. The bloodthirsty buggers are especially fond of contenders who make full use of traps, pits, and round of the round contains. You Should you stock up on your supplies, you will encounter a traitor every third round. If any of the above rules had too many syllables or was otherwise too difficult for your maltreated brain to comprehend, just remember, kill everything and kill it fast. Ah, uh, the tried old true tradition of kill things and kill them faster. I can ah, get to that. Another mighty contender joins our party. Welcome. I'm the We're all awaiting our moment of glory and trying to pass the time as best we can. Don't you trust that unprincipled sod? He's a wizard and a trickster. Yeah, you put it in your mouth just for the fun of it. Oh, don't listen to Meat Bane. I'm harmless. Don't keep him waiting. Don't want to deal with another riot. All right, very well. We shall keep going. While there was colorful commentary, uh, might as well continue. So, here we are, Mad Dog. Poised once, once again at the gates of bloodshed and greatness, greatness as another, another competitor, competitor faces the challenge of the Crucible. Round one. All right, so round Three, one. Two, one go. It is Beatles. Pretty much the Crucible, what it doesn't tell you is that there are three waves per each round. Let's see how the new boy likes them. Can our plucky newcomer keep our bloodthirsty audience entertained? He better, or they won't be throwing down any gifts to help him out. Oh, you mean gold that I don't need? Three, two, one, go! Alright, so let us kill the beetles. Oh, I'm sorry, I try my best here. Entertaining indeed. Third wave. Three, two, one, go. I'm getting a lot of experience here, so let's use Zap Zappity Zap Zap. The Crucible is a good place to build up experience, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you that. Right, so cleaver, 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 cleaver. And there we go. That's a perfect round. Well, we promised butchery, and butchery is what we delivered. And there are seven round go. All right. And it looks like my spell glitched out and is stuck there forever now. So, goody. So, let's move on to round two of the Crucible. All right, it looks like we got to switch here for traps. Round two, three, two, one, go! And we have Hobbs for our second wave. So, zap, zappity, zap, zap. All right, come on, Hob, come on. He almost cut it in half. He may have pierced the skin, yeah. Dude. Second You can tell he practices the shooting. Two, one, go! So, yes, if you couldn't tell already, this uh, kind of glitches out a lot when it comes to the commentary that they're giving and it comes to everything else. Like, when you're talking and doing everything, they interrupt each other. He's not supposed to show mercy. Three, two, one, go! All right, so let's try this again. Oh, that hit will give him some confidence. And killing's all about confidence. Entertaining indeed. So now, zap, zappity, zap, zap. You better come to your right, man, dog. 
that, Harley? Get it up! <laughs> and the Hobbs natural magic do anything against this devastating display of will! There we go! That's two perfect rounds! You enjoyed that! Wait till you see the six rounds we have left! Alright, so that takes care of that. So, what actually can you get from the Crucible? Well, if you end up getting all perfect rounds, you'll actually end up getting... Uh, what are they called? You'll end up getting a legendary weapon. If you get all perfect rounds. I don't get all perfect rounds, unfortunately, so... Uh, I'm afraid we're not going to see the ultimate weapon that we get from it. It's an axe that you get. Right? They are interrupting each other, and that is very annoying. Well, but the thing is, the second wave already started. Alright, come on, let us do this. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, kind of getting my butt kicked here. Come on, charge a spell. There we go. Time for some zap zappity zap zap. All right, let us shoot the skeletal hobs. Come on, let's keep going. Sorry, I'm focusing right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let us. Ow, oh, that was a bomb. And there we go. And it's another perfect round. All right. So as you can see, by help, all they do is give you gold. So really, it doesn't matter. And each time you get hit, your counter goes down for the excitement. But you can easily build it back up. But now we have... Trade us. You are now good enough to use the laugh expression. So now I am good enough to be able to use the laugh you expression. A present, you do. I don't usually do this, but you deserve a discount. And what is the good thing about this? This man sells potions, clothing, and weapons. He also sells augment slot weapons, which are better than what you currently have, but I don't really use augments, so it doesn't really matter. But more importantly, he sells potions. Experience potions, ladies and gentlemen. And those are the best kind of potions. So, Sensible. let us have a nice day. buy all of his it. potions. Standard have health. A nice day. An infused will, resurrection vial, and a concentrated well for 12,500 experience. Let us drink that, ladies and gentlemen. Let us drink to that. All right. So first thing first, the health potion. Next up is going to be the will potion. And next up, the second concentrated will potion. There we go. And now we can afford shock level four. This is where the spells start to get ridiculously broken, ladies and gentlemen. When you start getting to level four and especially level five abilities. So I can afford Dexter Styles, which would be Zoom. Or... Better yet, I could afford Shock Level 4, which would help in the Crucible. So let's buy Shock Level 4. So, with that, we now have Zap Zappity Zap Zap more power. So, let us go into the next round, shall we? And use our new Level 4 Shock, to which you will see how broken it is. Round 4. 
Three, two, one, go! Zap, zappity, zap, zap, zap. Oh, this place brings out the old romantic in me. Arches of dead trees. You've never been married, have you, Murray? I would rather die first, old friend. All right. There we go. Zap. All right. Zap, zappity, zap, zap, zap. All right, so as you can see, broken spells are wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful to do, easy to master, and excellent all around. And this is where something's telling me something's gonna go wrong with the recording because I think I'm shocking too much. Why? <laughs> right, so we're on the third wave now. i to wait for the hollow men to come. Hello, hollow men. Zap. All right. Zap. And let us slash up the rest of these ones as slowdown seems to be happening right now. At least on my screen it's happening. Which means I'm probably dropping frames, which means I'm gonna have to do extensive editing for this. Alright, so connoisseurs among you will realize just what a great platter of slaughter we are witnessing here today. And we four four rounds left. So, we are halfway done, and we managed to get ourselves quite a bit of experience built up for our will already. So, I mean, level 4 shock, good investment to go into. But, now we're going to get into the more complicated oh, rounds that involve bandits. Three, two, one, go! So, unfortunately, people won't always run towards you. All right, so that deals with them. So now let us. Okay, what am I aiming at? What, what am I aiming at? I don't think there's anyone down there, but I think I'm aiming. I think I'm aiming at something. Oh, they're on the bridge. Okay, that explains why my aiming reticle must have screwed up. So let's keep going. Uh, let's roll, get out of the lock on, because unfortunately I can't seem to move otherwise. All right. This master flintlock pistol works very well, to say the least. Second wave. Three, two, one, go! All right. Yeah, you're watching out, all right. All right, let's keep shooting them as the other bandits miss me. There we go. Aim at you. Ow. Third wave time. Surprisingly, no highwaymen inside this one. I would think that there would be highwaymen. Uh, 
Alright. Use a potion. Alright, this is getting a little bit hectic. Well time. And I died. Luckily, I had a resurrection vial, so no scarring. Now, why can't I? There we go. I was hitting the B button, but it wasn't letting me hit the B button for some odd reason. And the Archmage. And unfortunately, I didn't didn't get a perfect round, but I am getting. Very high up in experience for Will. Look at that. I'm already at 40,000. So, let's go to round six. But first things first, let us see what I can afford for strength. Uh, I can't afford toughness. I can afford brutal styles, which is counters. Uh, that's boring. Uh, let's see. I can afford speed, so let's get speed. Speed's always a good thing to get. Um, I could get the dexterous style for that, which was that. So now I can get sub-targeting next time. And let's see our will. I can get level twos of spells. So let us get some level two spells pretty much getting yourself the level threes for spells helps you so that you will be able to charge faster sooner so I can't afford inferno so there we go got more spells even though the only one I'm gonna use is shock for the most Round part six. three two one go all right, so zap zappity zap zap time. Oh, highwaymen. All right. Um, no one seems to be coming. They seem to be trying to take pot shots at me. All right. So let us go and deal with them. Oh, I can infer Inferno. And now the people start coming. So let us zap them. Zap. Get so much experience. And I'm getting so much slowdown from all this, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot even tell you. Alright, looks like I'm not going to be able to get the thing for this round. Ow! Ah, ah, I'm okay. Alright, knock you into the abyss. You can't see me, but I can see you. Alright, so that takes care of you. Let's take care of you now. Oh, I'm not going to get a perfect round in this one. Come on, come on. There we go. Take care of you. Yes, keep standing there, please. Okay, we got one guy over here. One guy way over here. And two guys over here. Yeah, I didn't get a perfect round because I dawdled too much. Oh, this is turning into one heck of a crucible. Shame we only have two rounds to go. Only two rounds left. And I was eight seconds over, unfortunately. But let's get all the experience. I can now afford Raise Dead level four. Okay, that's weird. My audio was going kind of weird on that. I hope it didn't show up in the recording. I'm still using the Elgato HD60 Pro because, well, this is like the first time I'm really using it. So let's get that. And can I afford time control level three? What about blades level three? 
All right, so shock level four is 194,000, but your command of will is growing. Low level spells are now more powerful and high level ones charge faster. Sweet. So it does pay off to pretty much um, buy the spells. And this guy won't give you... Breathe in that wonderful air. This guy, he has to hate you. And we can buy more potions, including concentrated will. So there we go. Uh, let's check the weapons, even though technically Master is the highest level, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, clothing, highwayman stuff, doesn't really matter, so let us get ourselves those potions. Okay, infused will. And... Concentrated will. So we are doing pretty good on experience for right now. We actually, I think, have more experience in will than we do for our normal one. So let's go on to our next round of the Crucible, shall we? Round seven, three, two, one, go! And it's Balverines. All you can spell with this in this arena, it smells of battle, of blood, of fear, and just a hint of vanilla. Luckily, my spells can deal with Balverines very easily, so zap, 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 zap. All right. There we go, that deals with them. Oh, we have over a hundred thousand. Oh, we got a Queen Balverine here. And there we go. And it was a perfect round. Oh, we are so close to being able to afford shock level five. Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how much I want shock level five. That would be good to have. All right, so we have 130,000 plus 55,000. So we've got 185,000, which means the last round if it's something that's good, then we can get that. But I think the last round's actually a troll. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I could tear up your head, mad dog. We made it. We're here. Extinction, greatest abomination. Stop the puppy. Stop the No. What? No. All right, so we got to fight a rock troll. The same rules apply when fighting a troll. Just uh, shoot at the orbs that show up. Ouch. All right, so about two more, and then the rock troll should be down. Oh, we got Hobbs. Sorry, I'm trying my best here to deal with the Hobbs and the troll and the things. Ouch. Get some experience. Waiting for the troll to show off his weak points, but he's not. Up oh, there we go. Uh, I don't think I hit it. That's not good. All right. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to get a perfect round on this one, unfortunately. That sucks. All right. Zap, zappity, zap, zap. Let's use a potion. All right. 
So far, we've got quite a bit of experience. And I... There we go. One more, but I can't hit it in the next five seconds. Otherwise, we'd get a perfect round. So I'm going to have to come back to the Crucible if I want to get that legendary weapon. All right. Come on. Show your weak spot. Show your weak spot. Let's go around. Come on, show your weak spot. There we go. That deals with the troll. And we can now afford Dexterous Styles. It's an extraordinary superhuman feat of inconceivable proportions. Unprecedented, some might say, if they were unaware of the precedence. He's as worthy a competitor as ever competed in this competition. Indeed! All that remains is to congratulate our glorious winner. We hope you've enjoyed this most bloody and most compelling of Crucible editions. Fare thee well, gentle spectators. Until the next time. And we obtain the Crucible Trophy, which we can now use as an expression. We also get 10,000 gold, so... If you're short on gold, that's a good thing. So, let us see. Yep, there's under trophy. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Crucible completed. So, let's head back to Westcliff. Congratulations! Three cheers for the new Crucible Champion! That was something else. Best Crucible in years! A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. <laughs> Best of luck, mate. Hope to see you around here again sometime. Certainly! Provided you don't suffer some horribly agonizing death on your travels. Bye-bye now. Why do you always do that? Do what? Say stuff like that. It upsets people. Oh, don't be silly, mad dog. I'm a lovable personality. Everybody says so. All right, so that deals with the crucible. Well, I can still I can still target them. That's weird. So, are you gonna consider that idea for a new round I was talking about, or what? The one of weapons made out of cheese. I told you, dear friend, it's just too gimmicky. Oh, and that round with the vat of custard and the lady wrestlers from last year wasn't that was classy. It was tasteful. It was delicious. Okay, then. So, can I leave now? So how long do we have to stand here? As long as it takes, Maddie, my boy. As long as it takes. And we are done here. So, there we go. Your victory in the Crucible has earned you the right to be called Lionheart. The title is now free at all town criers. Sweet! I can speak in ellipses! Impressive. Well, it's better than what I already speak, which is already just... Yes! That was fantastic. I listened to the commentaries every step of the way. I even got in to see a few rounds. That one with the hobs. Bloody brilliant. That was my worst! Really makes me want to have a go myself. Alright, so... Yeah, Alright, don't get a big head. You won't fit in the boat. Well done. Not many make it through the Crucible alive. The Spire's not going to be much of a laugh either. You should take some time out before you go. You might want to visit your family. Say goodbye. You know. Anyway, I'll make my way to the docks. So you know where to find me when you're all set to go. All right. So, that deals with the Crucible, ladies and gentlemen. Hannah has a good point. Once you are in the Spire, leaving will be difficult. 
and there are those who still need your help on these shores. If you abandon them now, they will show them to harm. All right. Do not get on that ship until you are truly ready to leave your quests behind. Garth isn't going anywhere. And so we have the spire. When you're ready to leave, go to the docks. But more importantly, we have new quests to deal with before we can end up, you know, dealing that. Which are, if we go in here, defending Defender of Light, which is a new one, so we can get... Uh, 750 renown. The Temple of Light is under threat and attack from the worst enemies, the Shadow Worshippers. This is a quest that you need to do before you end up going to the Spire. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode, along with another quest that is a reoccurring quest that we will end up getting, which is known as Slave Rescue. That is a reoccurring quest that you can end up doing pretty much. You just have to free slaves before they end up getting there. It's the opposite of the civilian displacement one. So keep that in mind. And slave rescue is now available. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be doing slave rescue and defender of light before we end up going into the spire because the spire marks well into the halfway point of the game for the main story. So, see you all next time.